me on this beautiful late Saturday evening. Everybody's favorite historian, Mr. Fred Part. Now, how are you doing, sir? Better than nothing. <laughs> Better than nothing. For those of you who thought, don't you guys broadcast on Friday nights? Yeah, we normally do, and we'd all like to be home watching college football right now. But Mother Nature had other plans, per se. A thunderstorm hit us at with 427 remaining in quarter number one with the Indians driving up 6 nothing, So we find ourselves back here on Saturday afternoon, 5.51 p.m. I know you had your prediction last night, Fred, but from the eight minutes of action you got to watch and the film you watched, does your tune change at all as far as these Indians go? That wasn't a big enough sample. I mean, they looked pretty even for what we saw, but... Uh who knows? Yeah, who does really know? But until then, my name's Quincy Piper. We will be back at kickoff. It's time for JCR to pay some bills. Every day you face uncertainty, but it's good to know you have friends to help you. Friends who are nearby. That's why Bratton Insurance has locations in both Mifflin Town and Millerstown. Their staff will give you the professional help you need to bring peace of mind to your life. Can you save money on your auto insurance? What about your home? Is it properly protected? If something should happen to you, will your family and loved ones be taken care of? These are questions the Bratton Insurance Agency is here to help you with. Offering competitive Erie insurance pricing on home, auto, business, and life insurance. In Mifflin Town, call 717-436-8500. In Millerstown, call 717-589-3278. Bratton Insurance. We're here to help. The Cream Stop in McAlserville wants you to beat the heat of the summer. Choose from the Cream Stop's full menu of burgers, sandwiches, subs, and other all-American food. The Cream Stop serves six flavors of soft-serve ice cream each week. Come enjoy the many ice cream desserts offered by the Cream Stop, including their famous milkshakes, voted the best in Juniata County. Call ahead for takeout at 717-463-2982. And keep up to date on ice cream flavors, specials, and hours on their Facebook page. The Cream Stop, a family favorite since 1959. Right along Route 35 McAllisterville. We all have different ways of saying goodbye. One goodbye that we're never ready for is to a dying loved one. Brown Funeral Homes Incorporated has been helping families with those goodbyes since 1845. Five generations have trusted Browns to see them through their toughest times. Brown Funeral Homes doesn't just make service arrangements, they do obituary writing, providing memorial folders and online condolences. They assist with planning ahead with pre-planning and pre-financing. Face it, the last thing any grieving family wants to think about is paperwork, which is why Browns takes care of all of that as well. Talk to Daniel Brown or Ryan Pellman. Find out how they can assist you in making one of the most difficult times just a little easier. Brown's Funeral Home Incorporated, 100 Bridge Street, Mifflintown, or at 111 West Fall Street, McAlsterville. Hi, this is Bree from CPRS Physical Therapy in Mifflintown. CPRS is a private practice physical therapy clinic serving the local community and our local athletes for the past 12 years. We treat all orthopedic conditions as well as patients with vestibular, neurological, and balance disorders. CPRS has two locations in Juniata County, one in Industrial Park Road in Mifflintown as well as another in McAllisterville beside South OIP. If you are in need of physical therapy services, please contact us at the Mifflin Town office at 717-436-6042 or at the McAllisterville office at 717-463-3004. That's CPRS Physical Therapy, hands that heal, hearts that care. There was a time when the local burger joint was the hangout spot. Guess what? That memory can live on at Cruiser's Cafe in Mount Pleasant Mills. Cruisers is exactly the kind of burger joint you remember in the 50s and 60s. Not old enough to remember the 50s and 60s? Well, here's what to expect. Quality quarter pound burgers made to order, from traditional to high octane. Grilled or western chicken sandwiches. Haddock, Troutman's Italian sausages with peppers and onions. Oh, and don't forget the fries or onion rings. And no trip to Cruisers Cafe would be complete without Hershey's hand-dipped ice cream. 
But the best part is the whole 50s atmosphere that you just have to experience for yourself. Open 11 to 9 every day at Cruiser's Cafe at the intersections of Route 35 and 104 in Mount Pleasant Mills. Hello and welcome back to Juniata Radio as Waylon Aranzella takes a handoff to the right side. He's fighting and he will pick up, what would you say, Fred, about five or six? I'm very good at estimating six. things. Six. Yep. Third and, third and six as he picks up four yards on the carry. It is not in our media contract for the referees to start around the time we need it to. So you did miss the first play, which was a handoff to, I believe, Caleb Smith right up the middle as he was swallowed by a whole gaggle of Bison defenders. Lob and Aaron Teller in the backfield. Play action. He will find Makai Hunt wide open. The ball's a little bit underthrown. He's going, and he will be brought down after a gain of, what would you say, Fred, 35, maybe 40? Yeah, at least. You can't see the yard lines on the field at all. No, you cannot. That will bring up first and 10 for the Indians with 2.40 to go on the dealer's choice yard line. Wing T, Caleb Smith in motion. That's a handoff underneath the number 30, the senior Jordan Dickinson. He will be s swallowed up by a whole gaggle of clearfield defenders led by number 88, Joe Knee, and number 50. Uh, there is not a 50 on this roster. Okay, fun. Bring up, call that second and nine. Kondo breaks the huddle. I mean, sorry, Kanegi breaks the huddle. The freshman Sheps to his right, Smith to his left, Lobb and Dickinson in the backfield. Hand off to Waylon Aaronseller on the sweep. He will lose a couple. Call that third and long as Jasper Sheps checks out of the ball game in favor of Makai Hunt. Do I see laundry on the field? No, that is a timeout by head coach Tim Janoko. So we will be right back. My name's Quincy Piper, and this is JCR. There's no need to travel far if you're looking for electrical, plumbing, and even heating supplies. They're all right here in Juniata County in one place. Eastern Penn Supply Company along Route 75, just south of the traffic light at the intersection of William Penn Highway. EPSCO has what you need to keep your house as warm or as cool as you want it, and to keep your showers nice and hot. Everything from mini splits and boilers to furnaces. They also stock the parts to keep your existing system running smoothly. If they don't have what you need in stock, EPSCO can get it. Break this number down for electrical, plumbing, and heating supplies. It's 717-436-8160. Open weekdays 7 until 5 and Saturdays 8 until noon. Eastern Penn Supply Company along the Port Royal exit of Route 322. Welcome back live from the John H. Schaefer Dodge Broadcast booth. Is that appeared to be a well, no, I guess that was just a five-yard loss and then the timeout. Third and 13, the Indians find themselves with 135 remaining in the first as Kanegi drops back and rolls right. He'll uncork one down to Caleb Smith, but he will trip in the process of running his route. Number three, Brady Collins defending that pass. Decision time now. Yo, know, if you're these Indians, what do you do? Me? I would, I would kick it because... I don't want to give them any better field position than I have to. Yeah, we're ahead, so. yeah, keep the momentum. But I don't. I think they're probably going to go. Yeah. We have a color man off the field. He is talking stats with our good friend Fred Parr. Now as Kanegi finds himself three to the right, one beside him in the form of Jordan Dickinson. He'll throw one deep. He'll find... Uh... He may be short. Number 21, Casey Smith, but Fred Parnell is exactly right. He may be short of first down nope. yardage. First down. Oh, they will call that a first down. 
So a fresh set of downs for the Indians as we find ourselves within the red zone now. <laughs> Fred Parnell's giggly self. Aaron Zeller and Lobb in the backfield. Smith out to the right. Takes the snap. That's a bit of a mishandled handoff. Two well pitch to Waylon Aaron Zeller, but he, he'll be brought down after a gain of maybe one as the final minute will begin to take away here in Mifflin Town, live from the John H. Schaefer Dodge broadcast booth. That's one thing we can't do, turn the ball over. Yes. Historically, you turn the ball over twice more than your opponent, you lose 90% of those games. <laughs> and this is where Fred Parnell pulls stats from nowhere. Anyways... The final minute of game time is ticking off the clock as Kanegi will take a snap. The same formation. Play action. He'll roll right. He will find Makai Hunt, the senior, and wide open in the end zone. The Indians have hit pay dirt. 13-0 Juniata. 12-0. I'm used to... Sorry, 12. <laughs> Forgot about the missed extra point. So that will bring on the senior, Brant Walters, to kick an extra point. That will miss wide to the left. So as we head to a commercial break, live from the John H. Schaefer Dodge broadcast booth, the Indians are up by an even dozen. Discover Richfield's best kept secret. The Chat Shack, located in the back of Village Merchants, is a full service restaurant with all home style cooking. If you're looking for a quick lunch or dinner, or a nice quiet place to chat with friends, give the Chat Shack a try. Great appetizers, deluxe salads and meal baskets, and don't forget the dessert. There's even a little chatterbox menu. And every Sunday, the Chat Shack is open from 10.30 to 1.30 for a different home cooked Sunday dinner option each week. Plus, they're open regular hours Mondays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 12 until 7. Keep up to date on everything Chat Shack on their Facebook page. The Chat Shack in the back of Village Merchants, Sand Valley Road, Richfield. Welcome back to Mifflin Town, Pennsylvania as the Indians find themselves up an even dozen here at Dietrich Field. The senior place kicker Brant Walters to boot it away as is customary from the from Juniata's own 40-yard line. He will boot it to the number, I don't know, of Clearfield. He'll bring it up to maybe the 20, the 25. That was number 16. Around the 30 somewhere. Luke Paulo, uh, around the 30-yard line. The sophomore Wyatt Dysinger on the stop. It's around the 35. Around the 35 yard line. Will Domico under center, Carter Chamberlain and Brady Collins in the backfield. That's a pitch to the left. He will fight off a tackler or two, but to be He'll be brought down by Seth Lobb after a gain of about 11 yards. And that will be the final play of the first quarter. We'll head to a quick break and be right back. I'm Quincy Piper, and this is JCR. CK Hair Designs of Port Royal is your full-service hair and nail salon. The salon stylists have a lot of experience with all types of hair services. Esthetician and manicurist Jillian Mark offers skincare services, including facials, paraffin dips, and body waxing. Jillian is also providing manicure and pedicure services, along with perming and eyelash tinting. CK Hair Designs is open Monday through Saturday by appointment. That's CK Hair Designs. 204 6th Street in Port Royal. Call for an appointment now at 717-527-2431. That's 717-527-2431. This is Kelly from Route 333 Supplies. We stock everything from lawn and garden supplies and hardscape products. We offer excavating and paving services as well as recycling for grass, brush, and composting. Shopping at Route 333 Supplies is like getting a steal with their competitive prices and the advantage of not having to drive very far. 
but you can also buy steel, perfect for any type of project. And if they don't have the right steel you're looking for, they can order it for you. Route 333 Supplies is open Monday through Friday, 7 to 5, and Saturday, 7 to 12. We are located along Route 333 between Port Royal and Mifflin. Welcome back. My name is Quincy Piper, and this is the John H. Schaefer Dodge Broadcast booth. The fields have flipped. And now the Clearfield Bison have found themselves on their own side of the fi on their own side of the 50. As that is a play action pass, Will Domico will roll right and he'll tuck it and run. He will be absolutely leveled by number 70, Johnny Kaufman, after a gain of call it eight. That was one of the hardest hits I have seen in recent memory. Anyways, there's a gain of two, and I'm gain of eight rather. It's called second and two from roughly the Indian 45 yard line. The box stacked. You have to figure expecting the run as Domico will take the snap and hand it right up the middle to Brady Collins. He'll get first down yardage. He'll fight off a block. The ball was loose. The Indians seem to believe it's theirs. No, 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 it's not. Fumbled by, I believe, the number three of Carter, I mean, of Isaiah Collins. Ten forty nine to go in quarter number two. Juniata twelve. Clearfield nothing. Fresh set of downs for Will Domico's bunch. Under center of the snap, right up the middle to Carter Chamberlain. Oh no, the read option, he even ball faked me. A gain of four as he is brought down by the number 34, Mr. Seth Lobb. Second and medium here for uh, the Clearfield Bison. Once again, just under 10 minutes to go here in quarter number two, live from the John H. Schaefer Dodge broadcast booth. Domico under center, Brady Collins and Carter Chamberlain in the backfield. Domico will take the snap pitch outside to Brady Collins. The Indians will try to seal the edge and he will be chased down by number 23, Waylon Aaron Zeller in the backfield. Third and seven? Five. Oh, he... He got a yard. He got a yard. So the Indians will find themselves with another third and medium. Do you think they'll be able to convert a stop? Uh, third and five here. They got two downs to do it. So. Yep. Fred Parnell thinks this is four down territory. I would be inclined to agree. Will Domico under center on the far hash. Collins and Chamberlain behind him as he will hand it off right up the middle and he is absolutely annihilated by number 34, Seth Lobb. Seth Lobb making his presence felt in the early going of this ball game. They're going. I don't know if I agree with this call personally. I do. You do? Yep. Well, yeah, true. This is high school football. There's not about a kicker alive that can convert from this distance. Will Domico on the gun, trips to the right, one to the left, and Carter Chamberlain beside him. He'll take the snap, he'll roll right. He'll hit number 28, Caden Bell. I don't think he'll get a first down. Uh, that's close. It, it is. Yeah, brought down by number 22, Caleb Smith. Move the chains. Okay, that was interesting. The, re the referees will declare the chains moved. So 8.05 remaining in quarter number two. Juniata 12, Clearfield nothing from the John H. Schaefer Dodge broadcast booth. Fred, refresh my memory. Who took the opening kickoff? Uh, 
We got it, I believe. Gotcha. I'm not sure, but I believe so. Will Domico under center. Oh, he was facing pressure, and he's getting it again from Jarrett Kondo. He will, is able to evade him and get out at about the line of gain. Some very fancy moves on the part of the junior QB, Will Domica. Some very fancy footwork indeed. 7.36 as Tim Janoko will try to give his men the tutelage they need to get into the end zone. Domico under center, Collins and Chamberlain behind him. Two to the right, none to the left. Is That's a handoff right up the middle. Interesting, okay. Another first down for Clearfield. I do believe we're in, we have goal to go now. No, no. Not quite? No. Nope. Probably about seven yards. We'll get At the seven-yard line, we'll get another first down. Domico, roll right. He'll try to hit somebody, and oh. the pass will be deflected by number 22, the senior D-back, Caleb Smith. Second and 10 here from about the 17-yard line. Uh... Uh, now it's no. You see, they, they, yeah, the twelve or thirteen. Be interesting to see if the Indians are able to bend but not break as Domico finds himself under center yet again. Two to the left, one to the right as Caden Bell comes in motion. A scissors play that will get down inside the junior out of 10 yard line. No, no, no. Did yeah, it will. No. That's inside the 10, Fred. They must have spotted it a lot farther than you thought it was going to no. be. The, the first down mar marker is about eight yards this side of the goal line. So it Oh. Then my vision's just horrible. Call it's, it third and five. Right at, it's right at the 20. Ten, you mean. Anyways, Domico under center, a snap and a pitch to uh, Brady Collins. He'll try to seal the edge, and he'll be brought down by... Okay, Caleb Smith not able to bring him down. Now we can get a good look. It's at the eight-yard line. The football resides at the eight-yard line as Jarrett Kondo comes off. Big play here. As you always like to say, it is gut check time. And Fred Parnell, as he always says, does indeed have a gut. It is fourth and five, and it's time for the Indians to bend and not break. Domico under center, typical formation handoff, Brady Collins, oh no, he'll roll left, and I think he'll hit the pylon, touchdown Clearfield, 12 to 6, 558 remaining in quarter number one, as Matthew Dietrich will be on to kick the extra point in a matter of seconds. Warren Dietrich, rather, 558 remaining. In the first half. <laughs> Dietrich to put it through. 12 to seven now in favor of the Juniata Indians. This is the John H. Schaefer Dodge broadcast booth and we'll be right back. Eat like the minions at IHOP. Check out this awesome new limited edition menu, which starts your day with a Bubba Banana Pudding Pancake Ultimate Bacon and Sausage Combo. It's a mouthful to say, but an even bigger mouthful to eat. Or add some cinnamon to your life with a Cinnaminion Ultimate Bake and Sausage Combo. 
featuring seven donut holes with cinnamon, sugar, and glaze. Or have an IHOP lunch with Gru's Evil Steak Burger, oozing with jalapenos, onions, bacon, pepper jack, and mac and cheese. For the little ones, how about a mischievous Minion Junior combo? Don't forget kids, eat for free at IHOP every day from 4 to 10. One free kids entree with each full price adult entree purchase. I'm out of time or I'd tell you all about the cold Gru iced coffee. IHOP at 33 Stop Plaza Drive, just off Route 35 Mifflin Town. Open every day from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Building playrooms, fixing faucets. Raising rooftops to the sky. Juniata Lumber has serviced the area for the past 50 plus years and are ready for a fantastic football season. Go Big Red! Juniata Lumber and Supply with locations in Mifflin Town and New Bloomfield. We'll take care of you. So as you build your nest, come to Juniata Lumber and Supply. I'm excellent at fitting ads and Warren Dietrich will kick off. And he will get it to Jasper Shaps at around the 20. He'll return and be brought down at about the 25. A bit of a scuffle ensues between number 76 of the Indians and number 21 of Clearfield. Looks like they're spotting it right at the 30. Oh, that, okay. Five fifty two remaining in the first half. Canadian will take the snap, pitch out to Caleb Smith. Hill will find a block, but be brought down by number fifty. Again, not on Clearfield's roster. Maybe he's on this one. Nope. Second and nine after the gain of one from Caleb Smith. Five twenty-four to go here in the first half, live from the John H. Schaefer Dodge Broadcast booth. Kanegi will take a snap. He will hit number three of the Indians, Connor Borman, on the hitch route, and he will drop the pass. Third and nine now. A timeout? I believe a timeout Clearfield. So a third and nine live from the John H. Schaefer Dodge Broadcast booth. My name's Quincy Piper and we'll be right back. Hello there. This is Pastor Samuel Leister from Messiah Lutheran Church of Mifflin Town. Our mission here at Messiah is to make disciples for Christ of all people by teaching God's grace through fellowship, studying God's word, and serving others throughout the world. We believe in being mission-minded, and this means getting out of our comfort zone and getting the gospel of Jesus beyond Juniata County. For example, on Wednesday mornings, a group called the Needlers assemble comforters for Lutheran world relief. And Monday evenings, a crew of knitters create hats and scarves to keep others warm and cozy. There's something of interest for everyone. Check us out on Facebook or at a website, mlcmifflintown.org. Or better still, visit us in person at Messiah Lutheran Church on South 3rd Street in Mifflin Town for morning worship on Sundays at 1030. Welcome back. My name is Quincy Piper and we're live from the John H. Schaefer Dodge Broadcast booth. Third and long as uh, Aaron Kanegi hits number 22, Caleb Smith. And he will fight for a gain of three or four on that third and nine. So that will bring up fourth down. Will we finally see the Indians punter, Fred, or do you think they're going to test their luck? Fourth and two. This is a spot on the field where uh, a fake punt would be a good deal. I think the punting unit's coming on. I like how your mind works, sir, but unfortunately I do not think we're seeing that. I believe Seth Law back to punt. He will boot that one. 
That is caught by number 16 of Clearfield. He'll return it down the right sideline. Oh, he'll break a tackle as Seth Lobb will deck him out of bounds. I believe a delayed hit will be called. It didn't look like a delayed hit but to me, but I guess that's why I'm not down there wearing the white and black stripes. What's holding? Block in the back? Holding. Defensive holding. So that will push the Indians back even farther to their own side of the 50. Clearfield has the ball. Yeah, Clearfield has the ball. I know it will push the Indians back into their own territory. I thought that oh, was. Oh, okay. <laughs> Domico in the gun. Collins to his right. He will hand off, and he's brought down by Johnny Kaufman in the backfield. So, second and long coming. Second and 12 is the rule out of three yard loss. <laughs> 338 remaining in the first half. Domico under center, Chamberlain and Collins dotting the eye. He will be brought Oh, he's jersey stopped as Seth Lobb drops the interception on second and long. Waylon Aaronsheller nearly brought him down in the backfield by his jersey. So call that third and long now. In the scrimmage, that's exactly what Clearfield did when the quarterback got in trouble. He threw the ball and threw it to the wrong team. Yeah, Seth Lobb nearly had six points in the other direction. He'll take a snap. He will hit. Well, he will be behind number 16 of Clearfield. I feel like Will Domico believes he can walk in the raindrops and not get wet. He's been throwing a lot of very dairy passes. Have you realized that, Fred? Yep. That's called an experience. Luke Paolo, the intended receiver. As Domico finds himself in the gun, two to the... Oh, no, that's a, this will be a punt. Back to Carter Chamberlain. I did not see him back there. That is fair caught by number 21, Casey Smith. So with 3.15 to go in the first half, live from the John H. Schaefer Dodge broadcast booth, we'll be right back. Ball is coming, but there's still some time for home remodeling. And if it's time for some new doors and windows, Judy on the Window Stores and more can handle it all. Everything from sales to installation. And did you know Judy on the Window Stores and more also offer screen and glass repair? Give them a call at 436-8981. 436-8981. Or stop it at their showroom at Old Route 22 just west of Midland Town. Judy on the Window Stores and more. Open Monday through Friday, 805, Saturdays by appointment. A special thanks to Joyce and Dave of Judy Underwood Stores and more for sponsoring high school sports. First and 10 brought a gain of one or two as the Indians were are playing out of the shadow of their own head zone. Clearfield only has one timeout left, so if they want to keep it on the ground. It would be in their best interest, in my opinion, at least. Depending on what they do here. Yeah, second and eight will tell the tale of what's going to happen in this ball game. Hand off to Waylon Aronsella right up the middle. He will fo fight off Luke Paolo as he, well, no, he does not fight off Luke Paolo. He is brought down by his shoestrings at the Indian 38-yard line. Kanegi will find himself as they are going no huddle, that's a jet sweep. Caleb Smith, a gain of 
maybe one as we find ourselves with two and change left in quarter number two. John H. Schaefer Dodge Broadcast Booth, our home for this matchup between the Juniata Indians and Clearfield Bison. 149 and taking here in quarter number two. As Kanegi brings his bunch to the line, Aaron Zeller and Smith in the backfield with him. He will uncork one deep to number 21, Casey Smith. And that, he will not be able to come up with that one. That would have been a very big momentum switch, momentum changer for the Indians. Just to clarify, when I say Smith in the backfield, I mean the number 22 of Caleb Smith. Two C. Smiths on the same team make for a very confusing ordeal. We better get used to it, though, because we'll have two J. Condos next year. Third and long here with 134 in quarter number one. Kanegi under center. The misdirection handoff in a fight for the ball in the backfield. That looked like a double reverse of some sorts. And I think Coach, wait. Did Tim Janoko just burn his last time out? It would appear so. We'll head to a quick break. I'm Quincy Piper, and this is JCR. If you're looking for auto insurance, home or farm insurance, or insurance for your boat, RV, or motorcycle, then call or visit Leonard Insurance Agency. Leonard Insurance is a family-owned business that's been a staple in Juniata County for 60 years. Three generations of service, help, and trust that come with the Leonard name, as well as the satisfaction of serving their community. Whatever your insurance needs might be, stop by their office in Mifflintown and see Ryan or call him at 717-436-6916. Leonard Insurance, where family matters, online at leonardinsurance.net. How much would it cost to put up a convenience store with gas station? Sue Hart, talking about what brought on the decision to buy Mexico Market. Why don't you go talk to Ernie? He, put, he built Mexico Market, and I went to school with him, and we'll see what he says about the store. Well, I didn't realize Ernie was trying to sell the store, and the next thing you know, we're going to the bank to get loans. And I was so embarrassed because we had no money and had no experience. I hated to tell anybody that we were doing this. That was in 1989, seven years after Mexico Market was first built. Today, Mexico Market celebrates 40 years, and they would like to thank you for making them more than just a convenience store. Back live on Juniata County Radio as Luke Paula was bringing a punt back. Forced out of bounds by, I believe, Wyatt Aaron Zeller. <laughs> 109 remaining in quarter number two. The ball just touching the clear field side of the 50. D'Amico, a quarterback draw. He'll be swallowed up by Lane Piper. Third and long now with just under a minute to go in the first half. And no timeouts. No timeouts. Like we were saying earlier, Fred, Tim Janoko is one of the very best coaches in the state of Pennsylvania, and I don't know why he called that. Will D'Amico will uncork one deep, intended for Luke Paulo, but it will not fall into the breadbasket that is his hands for the 2.2 seconds in the first half to go. Third and 11. What do you do if you're a junior? What do you do... If they, if it's an incomplete pass here, if you're Kurt Kondo, do you call one of your, I believe, two remaining timeouts? Probably. I just feel like it's probably the smarter move. Nonetheless, D'Amico under center. 
Chamberlain and Collins in the backfield, a receiver to either side. Hand off right up the middle, Brady Collins. He'll make a move, but be swallowed up after the line of gain. Call that a gain of 14 or 15. So a fresh set of downs for Tim Janoko's bunch. D'Amico will drop back. He'll uncork one. It will... A bit of a fight for the ball as number three, Brady Collins, was calling for a pass interference on Makai Hunt. He did not draw the call, however. 17 seconds remaining in quarter number two. Juniata 12, Clearfield 7. With the problems we've been having in the extra point, uh, well, in the kicking game, if you're Juniata, do you go do you go for two when you score touchdowns from here on out? It's a slippery slope. Yeah, but it is. Probably I would. D'Amico will drop back in. Oh, he'll tuck it and run. He's that's, swallowed by Johnny Kaufman, and however. That's gonna do it. Yeah, that will conclude the first half. Five, four, three, two, one. And a happy new year, as our good friend Seth Dowling likes to say. We'll be right back. I'm Quincy Piper, and this is JCR. Juniata Concrete Company has been serving the area for well over half a century. With a convenient delivery schedule, they service Juniata, Perry, and Mifflin counties with ready mix concrete and concrete precast products. They will continue delivering concrete throughout the entire fall, so call them at 888-436-0460 or their local number, 717-436-2176. Visit them online at JuniataConcrete.com. That's Juniata Concrete Company, where quality is in the mix. Saying go Juniata County High School Sports Teams. It's time for the 168th Annual Juniata County Fair Race Opener. The 19th Annual ULMS Late Model Butch Renier Memorial, $6,333 to win. Like your livestock 410 Sprint Cars, Seal and Scroll Ford Limited Late Models on Auto Racing Club of Hagerstown Day. 6 p.m. on Saturday, September 3rd. General admission, $25. Students, $10.00. Passes $35. So come on out to Port Royal Speedway for the Butch Running Air Memorial as a part of the 168th Annual Juniata County Fair Opener. All of it at Port Royal Speedway. Regesters can't guarantee your favorite team will win today's contest, but Regester can guarantee your satisfaction on every vehicle you purchase. Price, selection, and service all work together to make Regester Chevrolet in Thompson Town the well worth the drive dealer. Open weekdays till 9, Saturdays 8 to 4, on the web at RegesterChevrolet.com. We have a better way, Regester Chevrolet. Ron's RV Sales in Mifflintown sells more than just quality used RVs. Ron has everything you need to enjoy camping and RVing in style, like used gas or electric golf carts, new cargo and utility trailers, plus camping and RV supplies, parts, and accessories. Need something specific? Ron can do special orders too. So before your next getaway, stop in at Ron's RV Sales and find everything you need to make your camping or RVing trip the best one yet. Ron's RV Sales on Industrial Park Road in Mifflintown, or find them on Facebook. Once upon a time, in a little town called Mexico, Pennsylvania, a man named John decided to start a car lot. The details may be a little fuzzy, but John believed in a dedicated sales staff, a no-hassle, no-pressure approach, and expert mechanics who could get your car running in a jiffy. Today, there is still a car dealership in the town of Mexico, PA. It still bears the name of John H. Schaefer, even though it's now the third generation of leadership. The mechanics prefer to be called technicians these days, but you'll still find that no pressure, top quality approach with each and every customer. John H. Schaefer Dodge, William Penn Highway, Mexico. It's time for an insurance minute. Here's Cindy Benner of Roger Snyder Insurance, LLP of Richfield. Your sewer and drain backs up and you have a mess. You have an even bigger mess when you realize it's not covered under most home insurance policies. The good news is sewer and drain backup coverage can be added to your policy. 
Another lesser known enhancement not automatically included in most plans is the underground service line coverage. This encompasses any underground utility line such as water, gas, electric, or sewer from the service to your home. If the line has to be dug up and repaired, it's taken care of. To find out more about sewer and drain backup coverage, underground service line coverage, or any other enhancements to your policy, contact Roger Snyder Insurance, LLP, your Erie Insurance agent located in Richfield. Give us a call to see what coverage plans might best meet your needs. 717-694-3841 or online at rogersnyderins.com. Do you need an oil change or how about an inspection? Then Raps Garage is the place for you. From basic service to new brakes and tire rotation, Raps Garage is the one and only stop for your car or truck needs. If your vehicle needs mechanical work, Tyler at Raps Garage is your man. And he even sells tires too. So why go to an expensive dealership and pay triple the cost? Call Tyler at Raps Garage at 717-535-5716 or stop in. That's Raps Garage, 717-535-5716. Located 3.8 miles west of Thompson Town on Route 333. Diesel trucks are great, but they do need a mechanic who knows what he's doing. Zimmerman Truck Repairs has those mechanics. From routine maintenance to emergency repairs, including 24-hour road service, Zimmerman's will make sure your diesel engine is well cared for. And Zimmerman's is open to the public, so when you have a problem, big or small, just call 1-800-999-2707, extension 8, or 717-436-0300. Find out more at ZimmermanTruckRepairs.com, located at 190 East Industrial Drive, Mifflintown. Zimmerman Truck Repairs, your equipment, our expertise. Every day you face uncertainty, but it's good to know you have friends to help you. Friends who are nearby. That's why Bratton Insurance has locations in both Mifflintown and Millerstown. Their staff will give you the professional help you need to bring peace of mind to your life. Can you save money on your auto insurance? What about your home? Is it properly protected? If something should happen to you, will your family and loved ones be taken care of? These are questions the Bratton Insurance Agency is here to help you with. Offering competitive Erie insurance pricing on home, auto, business, and life insurance. In Mifflintown, call 717-436-8500. In Millerstown, call 717-589-3278. Bratton Insurance, we're here to help. The Cream Stop in McAlserville wants you to beat the heat of the summer. Choose from the Cream Stop's full menu of burgers, sandwiches, subs, and other all-American food. The Cream Stop serves six flavors of soft-serve ice cream each week. Come enjoy the many ice cream desserts offered by the Cream Stop, including their famous milkshakes, voted the best in Juniata County. Call ahead for takeout at 717-463-2982. And keep up to date on ice cream flavors, specials, and hours on their Facebook page. The Cream Stop, a family favorite since 1959. Right along Route 35 McAlserville. Hi, this is Bree from CPRS Physical Therapy in Mifflintown. CPRS is a private practice physical therapy clinic serving the local community and our local athletes for the past 12 years. We treat all orthopedic conditions as well as patients with vestibular, neurological, and balance disorders. CPRS has two locations in Juniata County, one in Industrial Park Road in Mifflintown as well as another in McAllisterville besides South OIP. If you are in need of physical therapy services, please contact us at the Mifflintown office at 717-436-6042 or at the McAllisterville office at 717-463-3004. That's CPRS Physical Therapy, hands that heal, hearts that care. Death. Some fear it, most go to great lengths to avoid it, and almost no one is comfortable talking about it. The caring staff at Brown Funeral Homes Incorporated understands that when losing a loved one, most feel lost and alone. Many don't know where to turn or how to cope. That's why their grief support programs are there to help you during your difficult time and to make each day a little easier than the one before. Browns will guide you through the entire process from obituary writing to mountains of paperwork. They'll help with every step of the service planning as well as the little things that would otherwise get lost in the shuffle. When the need arises, contact Daniel Brown or Ryan Pellman anytime 24-7. Or better yet, talk to them about prearrangement for you or as a gift to a family member. Call 717-436-6252 in Mifflintown or 717 
463-2711 in McAlsterville. See them online at brownsfuneralhomesinc.com. There was a time when the local burger joint was the hangout spot. Guess what? That memory can live on at Cruiser's Cafe in Mount Pleasant Mills. Cruiser's is exactly the kind of burger joint you remember in the 50s and 60s. Not old enough to remember the 50s and 60s? Well, here's what to expect. Quality quarter pound burgers made to order from traditional to high octane. Grilled or western chicken sandwiches. Haddock, Troutman's Italian sausages with peppers and onions. Oh, and don't forget the fries or onion rings. And no trip to Cruiser's Cafe would be complete without Hershey's hand-dipped ice cream. But the best part is the whole 50s atmosphere that you just have to experience for yourself. Open 11 to 9 every day at Cruiser's Cafe at the intersections of Route 35 and 104 in Mount Pleasant Mills. There's no need to travel far if you're looking for electrical, plumbing, and even heating supplies. They're all right here in Juniata County in one place. Eastern Penn Supply Company along Route 75, just south of the traffic light at the intersection of William Penn Highway. EPSCO has what you need to keep your house as warm or as cool as you want it, and to keep your showers nice and hot. Everything from mini splits and boilers to furnaces. They also stock the parts to keep your existing system running smoothly. If they don't have what you need in stock, EBSCO can get it. Break this number down for electrical, plumbing, and heating supplies. It's 717-436-8160. Open weekdays 7 until 5 and Saturdays 8 until noon. Eastern Penn Supply Company along the Port Royal exit of Route 322. Discover Richfield's best kept secret. The Chat Shack, located in the back of Village Merchants, is a full-service restaurant with all home-style cooking. If you're looking for a quick lunch or dinner, or a nice quiet place to chat with friends, give the Chat Shack a try. Great appetizers, deluxe salads and meal baskets, and don't forget the dessert. There's even a little chatterbox menu. And every Sunday, the Chat Shack is open from 10.30 to 1.30 for a different home-cooked Sunday dinner option each week. Plus, they're open regular hours Mondays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 12 until 7. Keep up to date on everything Chat Shack on their Facebook page. The Chat Shack in the back of Village Merchants, Sand Valley Road, Richfield. CK Hair Designs of Port Royal is your full-service hair and nail salon. The salon stylists have a lot of experience with all types of hair services. Esthetician and manicurist Jillian Mark offers skincare services, including facials, paraffin dips, and body waxing. Jillian is also providing manicure and pedicure services, along with perming and eyelash tinting. CK Hair Designs is open Monday through Saturday by appointment. That's CK Hair Designs. 204 6th Street in Port Royal. Call for an appointment now at 717-527-2431. That's 717-527-2431. Welcome back to the Halftime Show here on Juniata County Radio. My name is Quincy Piper, and now I'm going to get to do my very favorite thing in the world, put Fred Parnell on the spot. So, if you had to summarize the first half in two bright spots and two things that you see concerning see as concerning what would they be well i don't know if i want to answer that way i'll just say i think it was a pretty evenly matched game what troubles me the most is the missed extra points they'll come back to haunt you i don't think our defense is playing up to their full potential and clearfield is well they're clearfield they have not they don't make mistakes they don't turn the ball over uh, it's going to be a dogfight the second half. Yes, it is, and I am just as excited, if not more than all of you, to get in here and commentate it for you. But until then, we can hear a word from our sponsors. This is the John H. Schaefer Dodge Broadcast booth, and we'll be right back. This is Kelly from Route 333 Supplies. If buying local is important to you, we'd invite you to stop in and see what we have to offer. Route 333 Supplies can help make sure you're ready for the cold weather with bagged coal, one-ton super sacks in rice, pea, or nut, stuck up on Energex wood pellets. Route 333 Supplies also can help with the critters with wild bird supplies, food plot seed, minerals, whitetail products, and buck forage oats. Route 333 Supplies is open Monday through Friday, 7 to 5, and Saturday, 7 to 12. We are located along Route 333 between Port Royal and Mifflin. 
eat like the minions at IHOP. Check out this awesome new limited edition menu, which starts your day with a Bubba Banana Pudding Pancake Ultimate Bacon and Sausage Combo. It's a mouthful to say, but an even bigger mouthful to eat. Or add some cinnamon to your life with a Cinnamonian Ultimate Bake and Sausage Combo. Featuring seven donut holes with cinnamon, sugar, and glaze. Or have an IHOP lunch with Gru's Evil Steak Burger. Oozing with jalapenos, onions, bacon, pepper jack, and mac and cheese. For the little ones, how about a mischievous Minion Junior combo? Don't forget kids, eat for free at IHOP every day from 4 to 10. One free kids entree with each full price adult entree purchase. I'm out of time or I'd tell you all about the cold grew iced coffee. IHOP at 33 Stop Plaza Drive, just off Route 35 Mifflintown. Open every day from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Building playrooms, fixing faucets. Raising rooftops to the sky. Juniata Lumber has serviced the area for the past 50 plus years and are ready for a fantastic football season. Go Big Red! Juniata Lumber and Supply with locations in Mifflin Town and New Bloomfield. We'll take care of you. So as you build your nest, come to Juniata Lumber and Supply. Hello there, this is Pastor Samuel Leister from Messiah Lutheran Church of Mifflin Town. Our mission here at Messiah is to make disciples for Christ of all people by teaching God's grace through fellowship, studying God's word, and serving others throughout the world. We believe in being mission-minded, and this means getting out of our comfort zone and getting the gospel of Jesus beyond Juniata County. For example, on Wednesday mornings, a group called the Needlers Assemble Comforters for Lutheran World Relief. And Monday evenings, a crew of knitters create hats and scarves to keep others warm and cozy. There's something of interest for everyone. Check us out on Facebook or at a website, mlcmifflintown.org. Or, better still, visit us in person at Messiah Lutheran Church on South 3rd Street in Mifflin Town for morning worship on Sundays at 1030. Fall is coming, but there's still some time for home remodeling. And if it's time for some new doors and windows, Judy on the Windows Doors and more can handle it all. Everything from singles to installation. And did you know Judy on the Windows Doors and more also offer screen and glass repair? Give them a call at 436-8981. 436-8981. Or stop it at their showroom at Old Route 22, just west of Midland Town. Judy on the Windows Doors and more. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Saturdays by appointment. A special thanks to Joyce and Dave of Judy on the Windows Doors and more for sponsoring high school sports. If you're looking for auto insurance, home or farm insurance, or insurance for your boat, RV, or motorcycle, then call or visit Leonard Insurance Agency. Leonard Insurance is a family-owned business that's been a staple in Juniata County for 60 years. Three generations of service, help, and trust that come with the Leonard name, as well as the satisfaction of serving their community. Whatever your insurance needs might be, stop by their office in Mifflintown and see Ryan or call him at 717-436-6916. Leonard Insurance, where family matters, online at leonardinsurance.net. I've been getting so much done lately. I've been helping finish some projects at church. My kids needed a coach for their team, and I thought, I can do that. And my wife has been bugging me to fix this railing on our porch, so I went to the hardware store, and I'm finally ready to tackle that. I'm telling you, sometimes she just talks and talks. I can't relate, so your newfound energy wouldn't have to do with all those Mexican market iced coffees you've been drinking lately. I don't have a choice. They have all these cool flavors, and now they have a featured iced coffee of the week, so I only feel obligated to try them all. And they have this thing on their Facebook page where they pick a name and they win a nice coffee. No offense, but you probably should lay off those. Or at least go decaf like me. You could maybe use a little more caffeine and I could maybe cut back a little. Um, talking isn't the only thing you're doing fast. Uh-oh. Mexico Market, the hottest place north of the border. Juniata Concrete Company has been serving the area for well over half a century. With a convenient delivery schedule, they service Juniata, Perry, and Mifflin counties with ready mix concrete and concrete precast products. They will continue delivering concrete throughout the entire fall, so call them at 888-436-0460 or their local number 717-436-2176. Visit them online at JuniataConcrete.com. That's Juniata Concrete Company, where quality is in the mix. Saying go Juniata County High School Sports Teams.
Hello and welcome back. My name's Quincy Piper and we are up. Wait, no, we're not starting action. We're <laughs> watching the Clearfield Bison high step across the field. Dion, yeah, Dion. Dion Sanders is alive and present, and he, I guess he happens to have multiplied by about 50, and he's in Mifflintown, Pennsylvania right now. We'll be back in another minute as we hear from Brad Strasser about the Port Royal Speedway. It's race day on Labor Day for the 71st annual Foss Jewelers of Lewistown Labor Day Classic. Wicker Livestock, 410 Sprint Cars, $5,000 to win. Four cylinders and wingless sportsmen benefiting the Mifflin and Juniata United Way on Fan Appreciation Day. $5 admission into the infield and $12 general admission for the grandstands. All presented by Ted Wright. Racing starts at 1 p.m. General admission $12. Students $12. Pit pass is $30. This Monday on the Labor Day for the Labor Day Classic at Port Royal Speedway. Racing starts at 1 p.m. Regesters can't guarantee your favorite team will win today's contest, but Regester can guarantee your satisfaction on every vehicle you purchase. Price, selection, and service all work together to make Regester Chevrolet in Thompson Town the well worth the drive dealer. Open weekdays till 9, Saturdays 8 to 4, on the web at RegesterChevrolet.com. We have a better way, Regester Chevrolet. Ron's RV Sales in Mifflintown sells more than just quality used RVs. Ron has everything you need to enjoy camping and RVing in style, like used gas or electric golf carts, new cargo and utility trailers, plus camping and RV supplies, parts, and accessories. Need something specific? Ron can do special orders too. So before your next getaway, stop in at Ron's RV Sales and find everything you need to make your camping or RVing trip the best one yet. Ron's RV Sales on Industrial Park Road in Mifflintown, or find them on Facebook. Once upon a time, in a little town called Mexico, Pennsylvania, a man named John decided to start a car lot. The details may be a little fuzzy, but John believed in a dedicated sales staff, a no-hassle, no-pressure approach, and expert mechanics who could get your car running in a jiffy. Today, there is still a car dealership in the town of Mexico, PA. It still bears the name of John H. Schaefer. Even though it's now the third generation of leadership, the mechanics prefer to be called technicians these days, but you'll still find that no-pressure, top-quality approach with each and every customer. John H. Schaefer Dodge, William Penn Highway, Mexico. This is Cindy Benner, Roger Snyder Insurance, LLP, with an Insurance Minute. You're young. You're healthy. Why would you need life insurance? One thing these past few years has taught us is nothing is predictable. Accidents can happen anytime, and you certainly never know what health issues you might encounter along the way. Starting a life insurance policy when you're young and healthy offers a cost-effective way to provide financial stability for life. It also provides peace of mind for your loved ones and security for your business. This has been an Insurance Minute presented by Roger Snyder Insurance, LLP, your eerie insurance agent in Richfield. Call them today to see what coverage plans might best meet your needs. 717-694-3841 or at rogersnyderins.com. Just in the nick of time, Luke Paulo is returning the kick. Brought down at his own 38-yard line by number one, Ethan Expedia. Fresh set of downs here as Will Domico leads, leads his bunch onto the field. What are you looking for on this first drive of the second half, Fred? I think if Clearfield can run it down our throat, that's what they're going to do. I, I, I'm th expecting much the same as Clearfield has trips to the right. Brady Collins behind dotting the eye, and he will pick up seven. Second and uh, four, oh, they'll pick up six rather. Second and four live from the John H. Schaefer Dodge broadcast booth. Yeah. 
Second and four, Will Domico under center. Uh, dive play to Carter Chamberlain. That will not be enough for first down yardage. Third and two now with 10.41 remaining in the first half. I mean, third quarter. I don't know why I said first half. Anywho, two to the right, two behind the QB, dotting the power eye. Handoff to Carter Chamberlain. And he will not be brought down until he was power bombed by number 24, Makai Hunt. This is classic Janoka right here. Just run the ball up the middle and make you stop it? Yeah, yep. He said, I'm going to run it at you until you stop me. As Jarrett Kondo checks back into the ball game, the number 78 of Hunter Herb coming off. Wishbone formation, Brady Collins in motion. Carter Chamberlain for a gain of three, maybe four. Again, from the John H. Schaefer Dodge broadcast booth, we are bringing you this game. Juniata 12, Clearfield 7, 9.32 left in quarter number three. Will Domico in no rush to get his ball club to the line. Two to the right, two behind the QB. Is that a handoff to Brady Collins this time? One of two bell cow backs in Tim Janoko's offense. As Lane Piper is on the stop. Your boss is messaging me. Which one? Billy. Oh, Billy. <laughs> He wants to know what's going on. It is 12 to 7, Juniata, 839 remaining in quarter number three, third and four for Will Domico. He'll take the snap, he'll roll left, and he will throw it into his sideline. That'll bring up fourth down. That kid's learning. He didn't do that before. Yeah, he is learning in a hurry. Last night's Will Domico in the first half's Will Domico would have told us that he might throw an interception or two just forcing the football down the field, and he's not doing that now. Big play here. Fourth and four, time for the Indians to have their medal tested. Pass number five. He's before the sticks, however. Pass intended for number five. Uh, we'll say, I, no, we're not going to say anything because there's not a number five on this roster. <laughs> so much fun. My good friend and stat keeper, Mr. Chasimus Auker, has said, brought down by Caleb Smith. Jepson Smith to the right and the left as he goes in motion. That's a handoff number 22, Caleb Smith on the jet sweep. He'll fight maybe two. Realistically closer to one. As Makai Hunt and number three, Connor Borman check into the ball game. Nagy in the gun. Receivers to right and left. A tailback to either side as he'll roll left. He'll uncork it deep to number 24, Makai Hunt. And the one-handed snag. Wow. 
Wow, indeed, Brad Parr now. Wow. I think we have a player of the game, Brad. So far. <laughs> Fred, can you say something quick? Such as? You okay? Yeah, you're good. Anyways, after the big strike to Makai Hunt, Caleb Smith in motion. Kanegi will roll right. He'll hit. Lob! I don't think he'll quite hit Pater. I honestly can't believe the passing game is working as well as it is for Juniata. I can't either. I'm about the biggest Juniata homer you will ever meet. And I am in utter disbelief that the passing game is working as well. That is so important. Yep. You can't have a good running game without a passing game. You are exactly right, Fred Parnell. 12 to 7, first and goal to go as the Indians find themselves in the wishbone. Hand off Seth Lobb. He's close, about a yard or two. I wouldn't even say a full yard, honestly. Well, looking at the down marker over there, it looks. Ah, yeah, you're right. Probably dealing with about a yard as he checks out in favor of the senior number 30, Jordan Dickinson. Smith in motion, handoff. Oh, no! That had disaster written all over it. Yeah, it did. Thank you for filling in for my utter shock. As Kanegi will be brought down after recovering his running back's fumble. And before you ask, I don't think they'll try a field goal if they don't get in here. Oh, God, no. They'd be a bit goofy if timeout. they were to. That is a timeout by who? I did not see. Us. Uh, timeout by Mr. Kurt Kondo, so we'll head to a quick break here on JCR. Do you need an oil change? Or how about an inspection? Then Raps Garage is the place for you. From basic service to new brakes and tire rotation, Raps Garage is the one and only stop for your car or truck needs. If your vehicle needs mechanical work, Tyler at Raps Garage is your man. And he even sells tires too. So why go to an expensive dealership and pay triple the cost? Call Tyler at Raps Garage at 717-535-5716 or stop in. That's Raps Garage, 717-535-5716. Located 3.8 miles west of Thompson Town on Route 333. Diesel trucks are great, but they do need a mechanic who knows what he's doing. Zimmerman Truck Repairs has those mechanics. From routine maintenance to emergency repairs, including 24-hour road service, Zimmerman's will make sure your diesel engine is well cared for. And Zimmerman's is open to the public, so when you have a problem, big or small, just call 1-800-999-2707, extension 8, or 717-436-0300. Find out more at ZimmermanTruckRepairs.com, located at 190 East Industrial Drive, Mifflin Town. Zimmerman Truck Repairs, your equipment, our expertise. A handoff to number 23, Waylon Aaron Zether, will result in a loss of yardage, a whole gaggle of Clearfield Bison, led by number 50, Matt Bush on the stop. I know Kirk Kondo yeah. has some strange plays down around the goal line. This could be one of them. It very well could be. Thank you for filling in the dead air. Caleb Smith in motion yet again. Oh, the double reverse to Jordan Dickinson. Did he hit Pater? Yes, he did. Jun Juniata 18. 
Clearfield 7. As Kurt Kondo and Colton Scherzer have both elected to keep the offense on the field. A wise decision in my opinion. You're right though, Fred. He does have some funky plays on the goal line. Yes, he sure does. Smith in motion. Kanegi will roll right, and it will hit Makai Hunt wide open in the left corner of the end zone. Call that Juniata 20. Line, no, I don't know why I was about to say line mountain. Clearfield 7, 418 remaining in quarter number three. Live from the John H. Shaper Dodge broadcast booth. We'll be right back. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the emergency alert system. Equipment that can quickly warn you during an emergency is being tested. If this was an actual emergency, such as a flood, official messages would have followed this alert tone. This station serves the State College operational area. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Walgreens gets that you may be at the corner of starting school and finishing lists. Luckily, Walgreens is just around the corner to help finish your list. From pens and notebooks to facial tissues, disinfectant wipes, and vitamins. And with short lines and great parking, you can get in and out in no time. Walgreens, at the corner of happy and healthy. Now with cards, six box Kleenex bundles are $4.99. And need five star notebooks or buy one, get one half off of equal or lesser value. Hello? Hi, Jennifer. Listen, Nick is here with me, and he's very, very sorry. Um, who is this? I'm Nick's State Farm agent. His State Farm agent? Yeah, State Farm is famous for having great claim service. Uh -huh. When Nick got in his little fender bender last month, State Farm patched things up for him right away. I think he's hoping we can patch things up with you, too. This is crazy. Jennifer, this relationship isn't totaled. Go with the company with a 97% satisfaction rating on claims. Get to a better state. State Farm. The first Clearfield offensive play resulted in laundry in the offensive black, blackfield, backfield. <laughs> anyway, in the offensive backfield, I believe that will be a false start on number three, Brady Collins. As of right now, at least, the Indians are making very... Well, they're making believers out of the fourth down magazine, people. I was trying to think of how I was going to word that. This game has gone completely the opposite of what how we thought it was going to go and how we has. thought fourth down, how fourth down magazine thought it was going to go. Uh, so we're assessing two penalties on the same play. Uh, uh, the referee did forget his direction, so it would have. <laughs> Would appear the penalty was all, not a false start on Brady Collins, but an offside. On I'm assuming number 52, Jarrett Conda. They're moving that ball around all the time. Yes, they are. You go down there and tell them about it, Fred. 4:06 in the third quarter. Juniata 20, Clearfield seven. He'll uncork one to number five, Mister of Clearfield. <laughs> Sorry, I cut out. <laughs> but it will be incomplete. Not, number five was Carter Freeland, just to repeat, because I did indeed cut out. That is my fault. So, Will Domico brings his bunch to the line. The 
box stacked as the Indians are expecting run. Hand off to Carter Chamberlain. He did not pick up much of anything. Call it third and five even. Clearfield's going to have to soon start thinking about throwing the ball more. Yeah, they are. And Will Domico has proven time and time and time again that I just don't think he's capable of it quite yet. He's very erratic. To be fair to number two, he is an uh, inexperienced QB. And oh, he'll, Will Domico roll right, he'll hit. Number three, uh, Brady Collins wide incomplete. open, but it was, and the ball was forced out, but it will be ruled an incomplete pass. Number 22, Caleb Smith on the big hit. You know, you think back to last year when Jacob Kondo went down, everyone was heartbroken. But it gave Kanegi a lot of varsity time, and it's paying off this season. Oh, 100%, Fred. I was just about to say that, actually. I don't want to say Jacob's injury was a blessing because he was an integral part of this football program, but it helped out this year's edition of the squad a lot. Watch this. There, this could. I smell a fake punt. Yeah. This is short yardage. I am smelling fake punt. Number 51, Isaac Sansel will kick it away. Fair caught by Casey Smith. So with 3.02 remaining in quarter number three, Juniata 20, line, Clearfield 7, live from the John H. Schaefer Dodge broadcast booth. We'll be right back. Every day you face uncertainty, but it's good to know you have friends to help you. Friends who are nearby. That's why Bratton Insurance has locations in both Mifflin Town and Millerstown. Their staff will give you the professional help you need to bring peace of mind to your life. Can you save money on your auto insurance? What about your home? Is it properly protected? If something should happen to you, will your family and loved ones be taken care of? These are questions the Bratton Insurance Agency is here to help you with. Offering competitive Erie insurance pricing on home, auto, business, and life insurance. In Mifflin Town, call 717-436-8500. In Millerstown, call 717-589-3278. Bratton Insurance, we're here to help. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back. The first play of the drive here from the John H. Schaefer Dodge Broadcast booth was a pitch to, I believe, Caleb Smith. Fred Parnell just nodded his head in agreement. So four I'm yards. Four, four yard gain. Kanegi has one to the right in the form of Seth Lobb and three to the left. That's a dive and he'll pick up 10. He has one man to beat. He will be forced out at the 45 yard line of Tim Janoko's Bison. First down, Juniata. This is, like, I always say, Fred, you can, you can never expect a certain thing out of a Kurt Condo coach ball club, but this is leaving me scratching my head. Well, you usually don't see a Tim Janoko coach team being beaten on the line of scrimmage, and that's exactly what's happening here. Yeah. The, our offensive line is taking it to the defense, and it's just not something that Tim Janoko is used to. Hand off up the middle to Waylon Aaron Zeller. He'll be stopped at the line of gain, I think. By the way, if you look over at Tim, he's standing there with his arms crossed and there's smoke coming out of his ears. <laughs> yes, there is. Only, he, only coach I know that still wears a tie. And you got to respect him for it. It gives a very Tom Landry-esque <laughs> vibe. Yeah. Anywho, second and ten for the Indians as the final minute of action will take away in this third quarter. Hands off number 34, Seth Lobb. 
He'll fight for one. Probably, yeah. Call that third and nine. I think that will be the final play of quarter number three. As there is no play clock in high school football, correct? Oh, there most certainly is. Oh. And they can they can run it out if they want. I think... As both teams are making their way to their respective sidelines, I think that signifies the end of quarter number three. So I'm Quincy Piper, and live from the John H. Schaefer Dodge Broadcast booth, we'll be right back. We all have different ways of saying goodbye. One goodbye that we're never ready for is to a dying loved one. Brown Funeral Homes Incorporated has been helping families with those goodbyes since 1845. Five generations have trusted Browns to see them through their toughest times. Brown Funeral Homes doesn't just make service arrangements, they do obituary writing, providing memorial folders and online condolences. They assist with planning ahead with pre-planning and pre-financing. Face it, the last thing any grieving family wants to think about is paperwork, which is why Browns takes care of all of that as well. Talk to Daniel Brown or Ryan Pellman find out how they can assist you in making one of the most difficult times just a little easier. Brown's Funeral Home Incorporated, 100 Bridge Street, Mifflintown, or at 111 Westfall Street, McAlsterville. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back. My name's Quincy Piper, and live from the John H. Schaefer Dodge Broadcast booth, we are bringing you the fourth quarter of action in the ball game that I'm courageous enough to dub the upset of the week. In local high school football, at least. Let's wait another quarter before we say that. Yeah, I might have just jinxed them into oblivion. Anyways, third and nine, two to the left, two to the right. For Kanegi, handoff to Aaron Zeller, who resided in the backfield in 52 of the defense. Before you ask me, I kick here. I wasn't. Yeah. God, you're, me and you just work so well together, Fredward. <laughs> Before I even ask what I'm, what I'm saying, 52, Connor McCracken on the tackle. That'll bring up fourth and long for the Indians, and uh, Seth Lobb. I can't speak today. A uh, Seth Lobb will be back to punt. Ooh. Was that tipped? I think that might have been tipped. Anywho, 11 9 remaining in quarter number four. The offense making their way onto the field. Do you think it's time that Clearfield started throwing the football? He may try to run a few here, but he's going to have to eventually start. He still has all, he has two timeouts if memory serves as Brady Collins dots the eye. It's a pitch to Mr. Collins. Brought down after a gain of three by the forerunner for Juniata County Radio player of the game, Makai Hunt. Second and six now for clear field. A pass as Domico uncorks one deep. Just over the outstretched hands of number five, Mr. Carter Freeland. If that young quarterback could be a little more accurate, Clearfield would have a good passing game. And they'd be in the lead of this ballgame. Do you think this is the first year we see a Tim, Tim Janoko coach team finish below the high water mark? No. 
Clearfield's league schedule is notoriously weak. It's just a good football team playing in a weak conference. Anyways, a hand off. Oh, that's a pass. Will Domica will be sacked. Number, call it 23, Waylon Aaron Zeller, and number 33, Talon Barnt. Fourth and long here for Clearfield. I'd punt, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't sure if you were feeling frisky and might want to go for it. Anyways, Carter Samsel back to punt. Yeah, they have to punt this. Not in change to go. Punt absolutely blasted. Casey Smith knowing he needs to get away from it. Downed by the number 17 of Carter Paulo. We'll head to a quick break. I'm Quincy Piper, and this is JCR. It's time. Hey, I'm George Katsiopoulos of Ease Fashion Police. Thinking about fall fashion? Check out Gap Factory's new soft dressing styles, chic baseball tees, sweatshirts, and the ultra luxe jogger pants. Dress them up with a structured moto jacket and tops for under $15.99. Get all these styles and more on sale up to 70% off. So go shop over 250 Gap Factory and Gap Outlet stores. Find the one near you at GapOutlet.com. Walgreens gets that you may be at the corner of starting school and finishing lists. Luckily, Walgreens is just around the corner to help finish your list. From pens and notebooks to facial tissues, disinfectant wipes, and vitamins. And with short lines and great parking, you can get in and out in no time. Walgreens, at the corner of happy and healthy. Now with cards, six box Kleenex bundles are $4.99 and need five star notebooks or buy one, get one half off of equal or lesser value. You just listen to a Walgreens ad because I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. Anywho, live from the John H. Schaefer Dodge broad Broadcast booth, I'm Quincy Piper alongside me on this summer night. Red part now is the second and 10 snap from the Indians will be called back due to a penalty. We didn't need this. We didn't need what? This penalty. No. Then again, do you really need any penalty? Not when you're trying to protect the lead late in the game. You are precisely right, my friend. Fred, so here's the deal. I might need you to talk for like three minutes while I go down and get uh, whoever, three to five minutes rather, while I go down and get who, whoever our player of the game is. Can you do that for me? Yeah, I'll talk about you that long. <laughs> uh, yeah. I do not know how to queue up ads. Second and 15 on the off of the false start penalty. Kanegi will take the snap. He'll uncork one. That's going to Casey Smith. Just over his outstretched hands, Carter Paulo. Breaking that one up. Kanegi, Third and long Kanegi now. Kanegi is putting it right on target. Yeah. He's doing everything to make sure the ball gets to the receiver. The receivers just haven't necessarily been able to connect with the football. Now we don't need to do anything silly here. Run up the middle and then punt it away? Yeah. Because they have to score twice and they only have eight minutes to do it. Yeah. Oh, boy. Aaron Kanegi will go deep. He'll find Jasper oh. Sepps. Oh, he has open field. Down to the Juniata 33-yard well, line. Clearfield, rather, as Jasper Sheps, the freshman receiver, wows the crowd. I think I know who the player of the game is going to be. Anyways, first and 10 as the Indians receive a fresh set of downs.
Fred, they will need to wear your headset when they go on the air. For a fee. <laughs> For a fee. Kanegi and the God, two to his left, one to his right. Aaron Zeller with him as Smith goes in motion. That's a pitch outside. Waylon Aaron Zeller, he'll try to turn a corner, but he will get stuffed. Number three, Brady Collins on the stop. Assisted by, I believe, number 73, Mr. Matthew Baylor. That was a smart move in his part. He made sure he didn't go out of bounds. Yeah. What comes next if you're Kurt Condos bunch? You trying to get into field goal range and give no. <laughs> give the place kicker another shot? And unless it's really, really close down there, I'm I'm punting the ball away. Make them go the length of the field. Punting from the 33 yard line. I'm a conservative coach. I know you are. Hitting off the Seth Lobb. He'll take it up the middle. Four? Make it third and medium. Oh, this is working out really well. Yeah. The Indians have, well, they haven't shocked the world quite yet, but they are shocking the high school football world. The rest of the uh, yeah. Liberty Conference isn't going to like this score. <laughs> oh, no, the rest of the Liberty Conference indeed is not going to like this score. Hand off Talon Bart on the outside. He'll get first down yardage out of bounds at about the 17 or 18 yard line. Ooh. Yep, you look over there, the arms are crossed and the steam is coming out in plentiful amounts. Well, like I say, he's been coaching for well over 20 years and his win percentage is 70%. So <laughs> yeah. he, this isn't something he is, enjoys. Or is used to. Five eighteen to go in quarter number four. Both the Smiths to the right. Two receivers of unidentified identities oh. to the left. As I, who was that? I don't know, but he's got a headache. He, he, yeah, that's all. Oh, that was Seth Lobb shaking up on the play. Not a pretty sight. You want to know a pretty sight? Look at the clock. You're not wrong. 4.43 to go here in quarter number four. Second and 13 for the Indians. <laughs> not a whole lot of stuff to talk about as the Indians are taking their precious time getting to the line of scrimmage. Pitch outside and... Kay no, Talon Barnt is sent into the middle of next week. That was a very hard hit on the part of number 73, Isaac Samsel. That was brutal to watch. Anyway, Probably brutal for him to feel, too. <laughs> I'd have to imagine. Third and 20, 351 to go in the ball game. Junior out of 20. Clearfield 7, live from the John H. Schaefer Dodge Broadcast booth. Kanegi will uncork one. He'll hit lob. Will he stay in bounds? My curiosity may have killed the cat, and he may have ruled out, but I think he stayed in. Clearfield called a timeout. Well, then... I do indeed believe that Seth Lobb was able to park the truck in the field of play. So we'll head to a quick break. My name is Quincy Piper, live from the John H. Schaefer Dodge Broadcast booth. This is JCR. We all have different ways of saying goodbye. One goodbye that we're never ready for is to a dying loved one. Brown Funeral Homes Incorporated has been helping families with those goodbyes since 1845. Five generations have trusted Browns to see them through their toughest times. 
Brown Funeral Homes doesn't just make service arrangements, they do obituary writing, providing memorial folders and online condolences. They assist with planning ahead, with pre-planning and pre-financing. Face it, the last thing any grieving family wants to think about is paperwork, which is why Browns takes care of all of that as well. Talk to Daniel Brown or Ryan Pellman. Find out how they can assist you in making one of the most difficult times just a little easier. Browns Funeral Home Incorporated, 100 Bridge Street, Mifflintown, or at 111 West Fall Street, McAlsterville. When I go back, when I go down to get our player of the game, just keep hitting this button, this button, and then start automation, okay? Oh, you don't want me to talk then? No, you can talk, but I figured you didn't want to talk. Sure, sure. Just talk about the game or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Or talk about how awesome your good friend Quincy is, one of the two. Well, that won't take three minutes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I am a pretty awesome guy. Just ask Miss Abram. Just ask you. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Fourth and ten. Aaron Seller in motion. Canagie will drop back. He'll be swallowed up and it'll be picked off by Carter Chamberlain. He's bringing that one down the field. He will fumble it out as he is brought down by Lane Piper. Uh, there's a pl injured player. Call that number 51, Isaac Samsel. What do you think the message to the Indians from their coaching staff is right now, Fred? Bend but don't break. The old adage that has gotten so many defenses to the promised land of their respective football leagues. And I think that it will get the Indians to their promised land tonight. I think he can pretty well disregard the run. I see them gonna, they're gonna play a three-man three, three man front line. They always have a three-man front. It's looking like a three-five-three, three, roughly, or a three-three-five for you Madden players out there. First and 10, will Domico roll to the right? He will, can, no, Brady Collins is not able to haul that one in right at the first down marker. If you're Tim Janoko, are you trying some trick plays? Like, no, because they're going to respect the ball in the air. They need to run some 10, 15 yarders down and outs and so on, catch the ball, step out of bounds. That is what would happen in, in a perfect world, yes. Anywho, Domingo back to pass. Caden Bell wide open over the middle. That is a first down, but I can almost promise you not where Tim Janoko wanted it. He is waving his arm like a third base coach sending Mookie Wilson home. He wants his players on the ball right now. Five wide for Clearfield. Domingo back to pass. To the right. He'll look for something. He'll tuck it and run. He'll get out of bounds himself. I wasn't looking down the field, Fred. Did you see anything of promise? No, that's why I just he took off. There, everyone was covered. One thing I will give Will Domico, that when, well, as the game has went on, he has developed an ability to tuck it and run and not throw the ball into no man's He's land. He's a better runner than he is a passer. Yeah, well, that is without a doubt. And you can bet if Clearfield scores here, we got an onside kick coming. Oh, yes, precisely. And again, Lamar Jackson has made a better a career out being a better runner as a passer. Trips to the left, a running back in the backfield as Will Domico will roll to that side. He'll hit number five. Okay, we don't have a number five. Nice. Brought down by Casey Smith, my good friend. And classmate Chasm Chasmus Auker has said, first and 10 with a ticking clock. Will Domico looking to his sideline to try to get a play call. 
this ticking clock might be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Domico back to pass. He will get, oh, that ball's out. Recovered by number 51, Isaac Samsel. A very heads up play from the big man up front. The most exciting play of his football career just happened. What's their timeout situation, do you know? Two? I don't think they have all three of them, but I could be wrong. I'm surprised he hasn't used one of them. Yeah, he is banking on his quarterback right now. Nobody's home. And that's picked off by Jasper Sheps. This ball game has essentially ended, folks. The freshman and his first Friday night slash Saturday night football action has put his early stamp on his high school football career. Juniata will take over from the 15. Is that the touchback in high school football? No, a touchback goes to the 20. He caught the ball and went out of bounds. Oh, I thought he was in the end zone. Well, you're right. I think he was. Yeah. Um, well, if you look at the sticks, they're set up at the 20. And that's where the ball is. Oh, yep. Anyways. What do you think the odds are here if they run the ball? I'd say about a lot. I got minus a thousand. And hold on to it. <laughs> yeah. Because if they fumble in this territory, Seth Lobb, he's fighting. Does he have first down yardage? We shall see. No. No, he does not. <laughs> this game essentially over as it is. One more first down, simply a formality. I think Tim just gave up. He's not calling timeout. Yeah. Fifty seconds ticking on the clock. Mr. Chem Tinoco looks defeated. They could run this out if he doesn't call a timeout. They easily could. And they'll yep. Neil. Do we see a T? I don't think they have any or he'd have used them. They must not. The Indians coming off the field now. 21 seconds in ticking and this ball game is over. Juniata 20, Clearfield 7. They have shocked the world. We'll be back in just a minute with our post game. Okay. Okay, Quincy is on his way down to the field to grab the player of the game. I don't know who it is, but I suspect he plays quarterback for Juniata. This is an unbelievably important win for Juniata. They were underdogs. It's a first of a killer three three game stretch at the beginning of the schedule. And to get a win here is very, very big. Next week, it even gets tougher. They make the 45 minute trip out to Sealands Grove and the Seals are tough. But so was Clearfield. This is such a win for Juniata. <laughs> okay, we'll see ya. Team meeting in the center of the field. It's a happy meeting. I think it's interesting to note that uh, there weren't any turnovers in this game. That doesn't happen often in high school football. Both teams actually played pretty well. Juniata had a passing game, Clearfield didn't, and that's the difference in the game.
Kurt Kondo should be very proud of this team. Beginning of the season, they decided to uh, bring all the freshmen up so they have a roster of around 50 players and that can only help. What surprises